What's up everybody, my name is Nimai Delgado. I am a vegan lifestyle coach and former professional bodybuilder and today I am going to show you how to make a Japanese inspired meal prep that is quick, healthy, and high in protein. So before I get into the instructions on how to make this meal prep, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by my coaching company, veganfitness.com, where I help plant-based athletes or plant-curious athletes transition to a healthy vegan lifestyle where they do not compromise your strength or your performance. So if you're looking for more assistance, click the link down in the description and apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching and we can get you set up with a program. Okay, so the reason this meal is Japanese inspired is because I use Japanese style fried rice from Trader Joe's and you can see my last Trader Joe's haul to see what all I get from there. And then I also use Japanese sweet potatoes, which is a much sweeter form of sweet potato that tastes really incredible, especially when you prepare it this way. And then I also made some teriyaki tempeh, which I'm going to show you how to make that. So. So these two meals are about 700 calories each. They have 32 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, and 107 grams of carb per container. Now, you might be thinking that's quite a lot of carbs. Well, as you will find on my channel, I do not shy away from carbs. I sometimes consume 50 to 60% of my calories coming from healthy carbohydrates. And as you watch these recipe videos, you'll learn that you too can get shredded and build muscle while not avoiding carbohydrates. Whenever I'm cooking, I like to think of two things. How long it's going to take me to cook that meal and how expensive that meal actually is going to cost me. So I went ahead and did the calculations based off of the single ingredients that I bought from Trader Joe's. And each one of these meal preps ends up being less than $4 each meal. It actually ends up being around $3.60 per meal prep. So that's pretty affordable by any standards, especially if you go out and try to buy you know, prepared meals from a meal delivery company. Sometimes they can go upwards of 10 or $11 per meal. So cooking at home is always going to be the more affordable option. And especially when you buy things in bulk, let's get into the actual way to make this meal prep. So first thing we're going to do is start with the Japanese style fried rice. I like to start off by putting a skillet on medium heat and then adding a little bit of vegetable broth and I prefer to use vegetable broth over um, any type of oil just because it not only conserves on calories, but I actually like the way that vegetable broth makes the rice taste. And it also acts as a buffer between the rice and the pan so it doesn't leave it sticking to the pan, which is also uh, a benefit. Then the next thing I'll do is I will just add some garlic powder to the top and then cover it and then let it cook for roughly 10 to 12 minutes, making sure to take the cover off and stir the rice occasionally so that it cooks evenly. You could also choose to make your own prepared fried rice from home if you want to, uh, but you'll just have to cook the rice separately and then add all of the other ingredients. This one has carrots, seaweed, uh, edamame, as well as tofu bits. So. Um, just make sure to add those ingredients if you want to make your own from home. Okay, so while the rice is cooking, I'm going to start preparing the Japanese sweet potatoes. So I decided to cut these potatoes into more of a wedge shape. The only thing that I did to prepare them was wash them with some vegetable wash under some water, cut them up, threw them into a glass bowl, added some olive oil on top. And the next thing I did was add some garlic powder as well as pepper. And then I went over and put these into the air fryer. I cooked these at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Check on them in between, about halfway in between, and shake up the tray just to make sure that they're cooking evenly in the air fryer too. All right, so next up, I'm gonna make the marinade for the tempeh. And I'm gonna start off with some tamari. And then I'm gonna add some liquid aminos from coconut. Um, they have a teriyaki flavor that I really like and add that to the bowl. Next up, I'm going to add some sriracha to give it some more spicy flavor to it. And then I'm going to add some actual garlic as well, as well as some onion powder 
uh, to the mix. And another thing that I normally add to this marinade is liquid smoke, but I actually forgot to put it into the bowl, but I remembered as I was cooking the, the tempeh, so I just went ahead and added it to the pan whenever it was uh, being cooked in the pan. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to prepare the tempeh itself. So I like to use light life tempeh. You can get this at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or pretty much any grocery store at this point. And each one of these containers has about 45 grams of protein per container. So I'm gonna make two just so I can store the extra tempeh uh, in my fridge and use it later in the week. I'm gonna put some vegetable broth in a pan, put it on medium heat, and then add the sliced up tempeh to the pan and allow it to steam with the vegetable broth for a few minutes. And the reason I do this is because it loosens up the uh, tempeh itself so that it can better absorb the marinade once you're cooking it. After the tempeh has been cooking for about five minutes being steamed, I'm gonna go ahead and add the marinade that we mixed up to the pan and let it cook on high heat for about five to 10 minutes. And what I'll do is I'll just check in on the pan itself to see how much of the marinade is left. It will evaporate and then it will also caramelize. Uh, after it's been cooking on one side for you know roughly five, six minutes, then you're gonna wanna grab some tongs and then flip over each of the pieces of tempeh so that you can cook the other side evenly. All right, now that all of the ingredients are cooked, what I do next is separate them into two separate meal prep containers. So I will just add half of the cooked rice into one container and the other half into the other. Next up, I will grab several pieces of the Japanese sweet potatoes. Uh, I put about 180 grams into each container. And then I will add the two pieces of tempeh and each one of these containers um, it has half a block of tempeh. So the final thing I'll do is add a little bit of sesame seeds on top of the tempeh just to give it a little bit of extra flair and a little bit of extra nutrients. And there you go. You've got two really great, delicious meal preps that took me only about 20 minutes to make. And if you're looking for more support or more recipes and coaching on how to become a plant-based athlete, then don't forget to click the link down below and apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it useful. Thanks again and until next time.